You are not happy, Jane. It pains me to see it. It is just that I did... I'm afraid I still do prefer Mr Bingley to any other man I've ever met, and Lizzie... I did believe he... Well, I was mistaken. That is all. I'm resolved to think of him no more. There. Enough. I shall be myself again, as if I had never set eyes on him. Truly, Lizzie, I promise I shall be well. I shall be myself again. I shall be perfectly content. Well, Lizzie, what do you think now about this sad business of Jane's? I cannot find out that she saw anything of Bingley in London. Well, he's a very undeserving young man, and I don't suppose there's the least chance of her getting him now. If he should come back to Netherfield, though. I think there's little chance of that, Mama. Oh, well, just as he chooses. No one wants him to come. Oh, I shall always say he used my daughter extremely ill. And if I was her, I would not have put up with it. Well, my comfort is she will die of a broken heart and then he'll be sorry for what he's done. So, the Collinses live quite comfortable, do they? Well, I only hope it will last. And I suppose they talk about having this house too when your father is dead. They look on it as quite their own, I dare say. You could hardly discuss such a subject in front of me, Mama. Well, I make no doubt they talk about it constantly when they're alone. Well, if they can be easy with an estate that is not lawfully their own, so much the better. I should be ashamed of having one that was only entailed upon me. Mama! Mama! Lizzie! Guess what? You never will, so I'll tell you. Mrs. Forster has invited me as her particular friend to go with her to Brighton. Ah! Colonel Forster is to take a house for us. Oh, Lydia, I am so happy. Oh, what an honour to be so singled out. <laughs> Isn't that unfair, Lizzie? Mrs. Forster should have asked me as well as Lydia. I may not be her particular friend, but I have just as much right to be asked as she has. Ha, 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 ha. And more, too, for I am two years older. Well... I shall buy her a present, I dare say. There's no call for her to be in a myth because Mrs. Forster liked me above anyone. Lydia, before you crow too loud over your sister, remember Papa has not given you permission to go, and nor is he like to. But Papa won't stop me going. Not when I've been specially invited by the Colonel of the regiment to be his wife's particular companion. <laughs> oh, Mama, I shall have to be bought new clothes, for I've nothing fit to wear, and there'll be balls and parties every night. Well, of course you shall have new things. We wouldn't see you disgraced in front of all the officers. Oh, all the officers. <laughs> oh, 